Hey everyone, it's Lisa Flynn, your host of the Mindful Activity of the Day series sponsored by Yoga for Classrooms. So we are on day eight, believe it or not. We're gonna be going through this week all the way to day 12. And then just a heads up, next week, I'm gonna transition this series to a 20 to 30 minute class, which will be a weekly um, email and post on social media, our YouTube channel, etc. Okay, so just a heads up on that. It's going to be really fun. I'm going to have some special guests joining me for those classes here and there as well. Today, though, I would like to focus on a balance challenge. We really haven't done any of those yet, and probably the most well known yoga pose uh, that's known for being a balance challenge is whoops. This is tree pose. So we're going to practice tree pose today, a couple different modifications depending on how balanced you feel today or your basic age or ability in terms of coordination and balance. So I'm going to give you a few tricks as well. So go ahead and find a place where you have either a couch or a chair or something nearby to you. So for me, I have my I have a chair here that I've pulled out to assist me with my balance if I need it, which is really fun, especially if you're in the classroom or at home. We've got a surface, a table, anything. You can stand behind your desk. Um, you can stand, if your couch is in the middle of the room right now, you can come and stand behind your couch. So long as you have a place to put your fingers down and your hand down to assist you with your balance if you need to. That's always a good thing. So we're going to start in mountain pose. And again, if you haven't done mountain yet, go back to day one, learn mountain pose, and then come back. We're always starting our standing positions in mountain, so it's important to have that foundation first. Nice, so let's go ahead and find our mountain pose now. Find your feet, look, take a look at your feet, and see if you can have your feet about hip distance apart so that if you look down your legs, they look a bit like railroad tracks. You might line up the tops of your toes so that they're right across from each other, and just start to rock back and forth on your feet. Just really feeling your feet on the ground. You can even bounce up and down a little bit, grounding our weight and energy into the floor. Nice job. Now let's take a deep breath in through our nose, breathing in, exhaling back and down. <sighs> nice letting go breath. That feels good. Let's do that two more times. Breathing in. <sighs> and again, rounding those shoulders way up into the ears. <sighs> relaxing them back and down. You have found your mountain pose, strong, tall, and stable. Now we're going to move in and transition into our tree pose. But before we do that, I want you to find a focus point with your eyes. So what do I mean by that? <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, you want to find something that you can look at directly across from your line of vision. And I know you're looking at me right now, but I don't want you to look at me. I want you to find something that's beyond me from wherever you're standing. So a small, you know, piece of a painting on the wall or <coughs> a doorknob across the room or a picture, but it's gotta be something small and it's gonna be something that's not moving. So if you're looking at me, I'm moving. So that's not really going to help you. You need something to anchor your focus on that's not moving. And we call that, in my kids yoga classes, a magic focus point because it helps so much with our balance. Why does it do that? Because when our eyes are focused on one thing, they're not looking around the room and consciously or unconsciously paying attention to anything else. So it's a way to bring our focus inward and be more present with what it is that our minds and bodies are doing right now, which is gonna be a balance challenge. So again, finding that focus point with your eyes and we're going to start from mountain and shift our weight into our right foot. And I'm going to try to mirror you because I believe you're looking at me and it's going to look like the opposite. Nice. And you're going to take your left knee and you're going to turn it out to the side. And notice what I'm going to do with my foot. I'm going to kickstand my foot so my toe is still on the floor and I've got my heel up over my right ankle. We're going to imagine that this whole bottom part of our body especially our feet, are the roots of our tree that are going way deep into the earth. They're going to hold us solid and stable so that we can grow. Our legs become the tree trunk that grows up from the earth. And then we're going to take our hands together to the center midline of our body. And our arms and hands are the branches. Now, I think this is more like a little bush or something, right? Because we not we don't have our big branches grown up to the sky, but this is a great place to start. So tree pose, 
level one. And again, if you need some help with balance, you've always got your chair there. If you'd like to take this a little bit further, balance yourself, or excuse me, challenge yourself a little more, you can breathe your branches up, deep inhale, growing them up, up, up to the sky. You can keep your hands together like this. This is more like a pine tree up here in the Northeast. Or you can extend your branches out. You can even spread out your fingertips and pop some leaves. You can make some noise like I did, pop them right out. Or maybe you're an apple tree and you're popping out some apples. Or maybe you are growing pine cones, right? Whatever it is, totally fine. Beautiful. Now, eyes are on your focus point. I bet you're fairly balanced right now. We're gonna take this a step further if you'd like to try it. Remember, you can always put your fingers down if you need some support. We're gonna take the bottom of our foot and we're gonna bring it up and anchor it right into the inside of our calf. So making sure though that my heel, my, the heel part of my foot, whether I'm in shoes or not, isn't pressing right on my knee, but it's below. Nice, so my hips are open, beautiful. Inhales and exhales, eyes on your focus point, breathing in and out. Now, if you are practicing with another person right now, whether it's a family member or if you're in the classroom, you can try to turn your hands out, turn out your branch hands, and see if you can touch or reach the hands of someone else. And it might mean that you need to bend your branches a little bit. So the challenge here is to stay balanced while connecting all of your branches to the people around you. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay there for a minute. Take a look if you want to at all your branches connected. And then we're gonna take everything back up. Inhale back to the sky. Exhale, hands, branches, back into the tree trunk. Lower the toes, knee comes forward, and back to mountain. Shoulders up. <sighs> Exhale, back and down. So did you notice how many different options and variations that you had? Some days I'm more balanced than others. So some days I might try tree pose and I might stay right here. Other days, I might take my foot up and stay right here. And other days, I might come into my full expression of tree. Even other days, I might do that, but find I'm feeling a little off balance, so I can put my fingertips on the chair or the desk or whatever surface I have around me, even if it's a wall, okay? So let's go ahead and try all of those variations on the other side, now that we know the pose. So where do we start? Mountain, that's right. So find your feet, rocking back and forth. Good, and deep breath in. <sighs> Landing in mountain, getting ready for our balance challenge. Remember, eyes are on your focus point, unless you're looking at me and trying to figure out what to do. But once you know the pose, keep your eyes on your focus point and keep breathing in and out. It's really gonna help with your balance. Shifting your weight, into your left foot. This time your right knee comes out and we're gonna kickstand our right foot up over our opposite ankle. Nice. Now, we're gonna imagine those are the roots. Our legs are the trunk. And what comes next are our branches. So let's get our branches ready, bringing hands to the midline of our body here, anchoring the weight to the center of our tree. And then breathing in and growing your branches wherever they need to go. So it depends on what kind of tree, right, that you are today. You might be a cactus, okay? You might be a pine tree. You might be an oak tree or a maple tree, popping out some of those beautiful red maple leaves. So think of all the different kinds of trees you could be and what they might look like. How would you design them with your arms? Nice job, everyone's looking so balanced, I can tell. All right. Do we want to take that a step further? We can challenge ourselves by taking that foot off our toe off the floor and anchoring the bottom of our foot, pressing it right into our lower calf. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm feeling a little unbalanced, so I might take my fingers down for a second. And when I'm ready, 
I can move very slowly back to my tree. Nice. If you can touch and reach your branches over to your neighbors, go ahead and do that. If not, you might reach and touch something else that's nearby to you, whether it's a wall, and just feel the connectedness, especially if you're with people. Feel the connectedness and support that you're getting in this beautiful forest of trees. We are all connected, one big community. When we work together, we can support each other and hold each other steady. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, you got it. One now, working our way slowly back through the steps, staying in our mindful bodies and minds as we turn our knee forward, lower our foot, and all our branches back to mountain. Shoulders up. Exhale down. Let's do that two more times. Exhale. And one more. If you were working with a forest of trees and you had a partner for this exercise, you might give them a high five and a thank you. And I thank you for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow for the next mindful activity of the day. Bye-bye.